Welcome back to the channel. Here we have Hot Wheels spoiler series in Cuda. See how bad this top is pitted? The windshield is cracked. The sides are pitted. The um, Zamek, uh, the nickel plating has come off the side of the car. Uh, it's in pretty bad shape. The wheels have been played with so much that the red line has come off and the itself is just worn slap out the bottom is all dingy we're going to polish that sucker up the suspension seems to be good should have a problem there we're going to go ahead and drill this bad boy out i'm going to start with my small drill bit i actually don't remember what size drill bit this is but I'm going to pre-drill the post just a little bit so I can take the mushroom off with a larger drill bit here in a second. Always keep your bit clean or it'll bind. You could break it off in the post, then you'd have a problem. <clears throat> drill the front one out. Now the front one on this is shallow because the front post actually goes up under the motor and the bottom part of the motor is right on the top of the post. Once we drill the post out, we're going to go with the larger one to remove the mushroom and it won't take much. It's actually a little bit too big of a bit, but it's all I got right now ordered some new ones. They should be here anytime from the uh, Redline Shop. Y'all check them out. RedlineShop.com When you use the right size bit, it just pops off. In this case, it just cut it right off. Now we're going to take my small screwdriver here and we're going to pry this loose. Sometimes it's a little tough, but you want it to be kind of tight. You have to be careful. See how I'm bending the axle there? You don't want to mess up those axles. And by the way, the Redline shop has replacement bent spring axles, uh, $7.95 a pair. And if you order five sets, it's $22.95 for five sets. That is really cheap because I have paid $10 for one bent axle off of eBay. So check it out. See here, inside of the car looks pretty good. Little grows around the edges, see how wore out those tires are. We're going to polish that base up, make it look brand new. We're going to remove the axles so we don't mess them up. I'm going to take a look at this interior and this windshield. As you can see, the windshield's pretty bad. We're going to replace that. It's cracked up pretty good. I could polish it and put it back in, but uh, I'm just going to replace it. And when we remove the um, windshield here it's kind of stuck in the back there as you can see it has those two pins holding it you can see on the inside of the interior it seems to be moldy i've never seen interior of hot wheels be moldy like that okay here we go see look at, look at the seats that's mold that's not chewed up that is mold growing on the inside of the car and this particular car i think i got off of ebay and if I didn't, I apologize. I got it from Paul over at Dakas Graveyard. Okay, we see the post here. We're going to drill out the post and we're going to drill out the motor. And here's a little secret. When you drill the post on the motor, when you drill it with the small bit, go ahead and drill it deep enough you can put a screw in it. Because when you cut the mushroom off with the larger bit, it's going to be impossible to hold that thing and drill into it. Otherwise, you're going to have to glue it back in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drill this motor pretty deep. You see, I'm making a mistake there. I got my hand over the motor. If I was to have an accident, it would cut me bad. And I have done it before. Make sure I've got it deep enough. And then we'll switch bits and we'll drill out the mushroom. In this case, I think they just split the post. We're going to polish that motor up and make it look brand new. Sorry about the bad camera work there. It didn't take much. 
Now, if you have um, one of those automatic nail punch, you just press into the post. And I don't realize where mine is at until I've already got the engine out here, but it was sitting right in front of me. All I had to do was pop it, and it would have popped right out. And I'm going to force it out. You got to be careful you don't damage it. By the way, if you see the Stars and Stripes series, they have a thruster duster. It has the exact same motor, but the post is different on the bottom. So you might have to re-drill it to um, get it to work on your old spoiler series. As you can see here, the, uh, the motor is in pretty good shape. It's just uh, dull. We're going to polish it up, make it look brand new. And we're not going to paint this back green. We're going to paint it a special color, a rare color for this car. Okay, we're going to drop the body into some citrus strip here. We're going to get it nice and clean. And we're going to polish it up and get it ready for paint. Make sure we get it coated evenly inside and out because we are doing a color change. Okay, here we have the base, and we're going to remove the wheels and axles so that we can polish the base up. I'm going to get aggressive and use my bench grinder polisher to get a lot of this oxidation off. Uh, a lot of people use uh, like uh, CLR or something like that to get it off. I've even used uh, pH down to remove oxidation. you got to be careful with that stuff. It will eat your metal up. This is the best way I've found to remove an axle. Pull back on the back of the spring and slide it forward. You gotta push up on the wheels at the same time and pull back and then you have to push down. If, you're, if your tabs are not broken off or wore down, you can just push that spring out from under them and it'll come right off like that. We'll set those to the side. After we polish the base, we'll put them back on and change the wheels. We'll do the same for the rear axle here. Gotta push it down. Get it out from underneath that tab. These tabs are really good. Okay, here we have the base. As you can see, it's very oxidized. We're going to polish this sucker up, make it look like brand new. Then we're going to repaint the front grills. We'll paint them black. And in the back, we're going to paint that tail light that goes all the way across the back red with a paint pen. And then we're gonna polish this motor up and make it look like brand new. You can see the post there is already drilled out. We'll be putting a new screw in. Okay, here we have the body, but it's not without its problems. As you can see, the top looks kind of funny, like it's foggy. That's because the nickel plating came off and it looks really foggy. It's also on the uh, A pillar on the passenger side is cracked and bent. I'm just going to hit it with some super glue to hold it in place and leave it like that. Because if I move it around, it'll completely break off. You see on the side here where the nickel plating was also missing. I polished it best I could, but I think it's going to leave some marks that you're going to be able to see through the paint. It's not going to look showroom, but it'll look like an original red line and that's all I'm after. You know, any kid would be happy to play with this, and it's just a restoration, and I love it. Okay, and here's the base. As you can see, I've polished it up. I painted the tail light in the front grills, and it looks like it's brand new, ready to go back on the car. And we're going to put the wheels back on here as soon as I figure out where I put them. And then we're going to put some new tires on here, some new shoes, they like to say. Okay, here are the axles. We're going to slide them on, kind of the same way we took them off. We're going to 
slide them, flip it over the post, over the tabs, and then slide it back down into its axle slot. And the passenger side has a pin. You have to make sure you center the bent part of the bent axle over that or it won't sit right. And you gotta, in this case, push it down under the tab. The ones that are worn out, they are not as hard to get out or put back in, but then again, they don't hold as well either. So it's a big plus if you, if you have nice tight fitting axles like these. Okay, we've got the axles back on here. We're going to try to get these wheels off, but they're pretty stuck, and I don't want to accidentally pull the bearings out. So we're going to go ahead and cut these wheels off. I hate doing this, but sometimes it's the only way to get them off. Sometimes I have a little luck if I put a little WD-40 or a drop of oil on the back of the axle. But then you got to make sure you clean them real well, because if it gets on your wheels, it can remove the paint, chrome, or anything like that. So we're going to cut all these wheels off and put a brand new set of shoes on. Okay, we got some new wheels here from Bright Vision. You can also get them at the Redline shop. I'm going to put these wheels on here and I'm going to use my tool to hold the bearing so I can snap them on. If I can find my tool. There it is. Stick it behind the bearing and push down on the tire and snap. It goes right into place. After you get all the wheels on, you want to make sure you adjust them so that the car will roll properly. As you can see here, it rolls pretty good. I have one axle out of place there. I have to adjust it, but you see, it's nice and springy and it rolls sweet. So we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, here we have all the parts. We have the interior, a brand new windshield, the base all polished up in the body. You see it's orange with a black top, one of the rarest you can find of the King Cuda. This orange is really dark for some reason. I guess I went a little heavy with it, but I love it. Here's the base, all polished up with brand new shoes, freshly painted grill and rear tail light. Here's the brand new windshield and the clean interior. No more no more mold in the engine. It's all polished up. It's like brand new. I'm going to put this bad boy back together and put it on display for the world to see. We're going to put the motor in. We're going to put a new screw in the bottom. Hold it in place. That way you don't have to worry about glue or the motor falling out later. It's in there permanently until you take the screw out. Okay, here it is with the new motor. It looks fantastic. Now let's put the interior in and put the bottom on and get this bad boy back together and have a look at what we have. It fits nice and snug. The, win the new windshield fits great. The base snaps into place and we're going to put the screws in. I have slightly longer than normal screws, but they work great for the back post, which is kind of long. Pulls that base nice and tight to the body, holds it in place. I'm going to do the front. Now the front, like I told you, the screw goes pretty much all the way through into the engine compartment. So you kind of have to squeeze it together and make sure you get a good bite. <clears throat> the screw's not as long as it appears. It's just the um, hole, the post on top is so small that my drill bit wallered it out. So I have to make sure I get all the way up into the base of the engine compartment to get a bite. And we finally have it together. Okay, let's look, take a look at it. Here we have our King Cuda from Hot Wheels. There's a brand new pair of shoes, brand new windshield, a brand new paint job. It's a rare color for the year in the model. Orange with a black top. And that is just regular rattle can, flat black. I don't care for the uh, magic black. It never turns out for me, but in this case, it worked out. This here, black, flat black turned out great. 
Okay, windshield fits so pretty good. As you can see right there on Hot the corner of that a pillar, Cuda, the, um, little bit of series. fuzz sticking out from the super glue. Fresh paint they want to mess with it and mess up the paint, so I left top. it there. And it rolls well, great. It it's like brand new. Got a brand new. If I was a kid and I had this car, I'd be windshield. super excited. I and I'm stoked to have it in my collection. It. See a little fuzzy there. Graveyard for all his support. <clears throat> I want to thank. And the flat black on top covers up a lot of the toning that was uh, from the nickel plating coming off. and customs on YouTube. I want to thank each and every one of you for giving me pointers, show, uh, watching your videos, and learning so much and uh, I hope you guys appreciate this this is a beautiful specimen has a little bit of toning but if you like this video how about leave me a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel how about consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell I know a lot of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed and it would really help me out if you would do that so we're going to move on, and like I said, I want to thank you, and I hope you have an awesome day. Be safe.